Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I release a legacy video every Friday. Hello everyone, Martin here back with another legacy video and today I'm playing uh, something that I haven't done before. This is actually the first run of this deck so it might go great, it might go poorly, who knows. Um, this is a bit of a riff on the um, on the uh, sort of Demir scam uh, variant, something that I have hitherto not really touched. So I am getting my fingers a bit dirty now, but I am keeping it a little bit on flavor. So um, I wanted to try a list. Uh, this was inspired uh, by a conversation with um, uh, a Doomsday buddy, Simon. So shout out to you, Simon, um, about if we could sort of like play, because we've both been playing the, the Wonder Prue Demir Tempo Doomsday list with Stifles and Wastelands, and it's just been so, so good and a lot of fun. And this is just a, a theoretical experiment to see how, um, how it works if we're just like a bit of a tempo deck that doesn't try to resolve Doomsday, but still keeps in Dark Rituals to uh, synergize with like Shouldreds and the One Rings within this Scam Shell. So the numbers are probably a bit wobbly and will probably change over time. You'll notice that there isn't really much of removal in the main deck, but that's kind of also how the, the other scam decks are, are, or the Scaminator decks are, are going about it. Um, keeping in the Stifles, because I, I think I've, Stifle has just been really, really great. I feel like, at least sort of on paper, this somewhat holds up. There's enough black cards to enable Grief. There's enough blue cards to, by far, to enable Force. And we have the One Ring Children as our ultimate sort of long game. And then we also have the Scam uh, bit to uh, to push us through. So we're not playing um, the Entomb package, so no, like, real, real uh, reanimator targets, but... Uh, and, and for that reason, we're also not playing Animate Dead. And for that reason, uh, we're also only playing two trolls. Like, I think four trolls, if you're not on eight animation cards, is maybe too, too many. But also, I needed the space, so I don't know. It, it may be that four trolls is just correct. But then if we cut, like, the, then the cut would be two Merktides, I think, and then we're sort of getting a bit low on blue cards, but I don't know. And then in the sideboard, really... Um, Really hyped on this card, the Harvester of Misery. Um, Want to try it in the in the four reanimate shell. Um, but then, yeah, Dothy Voidwalkers just to have something that is doesn't care about the, the graveyard at all, and just other good Demir cards I own, kind of kind of kind of an approach. So um, yeah, let's see if this uh, if this uh, flies or or falls. All right, uh, on the draw for round number one. With a, a, a grief, a no black card, but I think this hand is keepable, so we're gonna do that. Okay, some kind of blue mirror. Tropical island, ponder. Okay, so this is likely a beanstalk strategy, which means we really would like to not have them have beanstalk um, in play. So hopefully, days can help us there. So I think I'm going to just make a fetch land and go here. Like if it's bugged beanstalk and they have days, then I don't want to be tapped out. Uh, which you know, because the the I think my go-to play here would otherwise be casting ponder. Oh no! What a shock! Up the beanstalk. Okay, I'm gonna um, fetch underground sea and I'm gonna float blue and then probably brainstorm with this mana. Well, let's see. I don't really like what this does here going back on um on lands on the land drop, but I also don't really want to play against Beanstalk if I can help it. Okay, that was interesting. Alright, so let's put back um a couple of lands here. And probably I go um Grief pitch bowmasters, and then maybe I dark ritual out the the bowmasters. Or I'm I could also wait a turn and have double bowmasters. But no, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch pitch bowmasters here. 
Um, so we put the evoke trigger on the stack first, which means grief gets sacked last. Okay, another up the beanstalk and a sorts to plowshares and an endurance. Hmm. So I think this is a good question. Um, it's between the up the beanstalk and the the plow. I think if I leave them with with plow, then they can plow my bowmasters next turn. But then I can make Murktide, and they're sort of left with nothing unless they're wise to it. I think I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to take up the beanstalk here. Um, okay. And that means I probably don't want to Dark Ritual out this Bowmasters. Or I know, maybe I do, actually. If I Bowmasters with Dark Ritual, then um, they kind of have to plow. And then my graveyard is all stocked for, uh, for the Murktide. Um, I think I actually will do that. Maybe we can get them here with, like, um, the Dark Ritual. Like if they tap Tundra to, uh, to cast a, a a ponder. Okay, I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna flash in the Bowmasters now. This um, makes the ponder worse because they have to fetch with the flooded strand to kill the Bowmasters because they did choose to cast ponder off of Tundra. Probably get Savannah here would be my guess. No, another Tundra. Okay. Okay, so they plow. And now Ponder resolves. They made their land drop, so they can't um, wasteland us here. And their hand is Plains plus Endurance, so they can't either. They can't get um, what they do. They don't shuffle. <coughs> Excuse me. But they can't have Force of Will for the Murktide. And now my choice is, like, if they found a green card and I play this fetch land and fetch, they can... Um, they can nuke my graveyard if they if they're wise to what's up. But the bonus of using the fetch land is I get to keep grief in the graveyard. But then they just have I guess endurance later on. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make my six six and move on with with my life here. Also, the waste uh, the fetch land is somewhat um, better to uh, to have available than the uh, the other one, the underground sea. Okay, so they kept their um, they kept their their ponder. I'm kind of worried about that. So like, if 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 they like remove this Merc Tide, we're we're sort of out of gas. Is this Supreme Verdict maybe? Okay, it's Uro. Okay, so Uro is not nice. But uh, do they find a land here? They didn't find a land. They can't currently escape Uro because they're not. They're at, they don't have a green source. So I'd love to find a wasteland or a stifle here. A bow, second Bowmasters is also nice. Um, well, these cards are all like quite interesting, but I don't know that I should be planning for a world uh, with where I'm resolving Force of Will here. I'm going to shuffle Troll. Okay. All right, I'm just going to swing... I'm uh, maybe I am actually going to just play the bowmasters here to get the extra two damage in, or the extra one damage, as it were. Let's get underground C. They have force. Okay, force pitching arrow. Okay, so they take seven. Um, let's see if they found the land here. Oof, leyline binding. That's brutal. Okay, that probably. Uh, <laughs> shifts the the game away from what we're able to do here because now I have a 1-1. One, one. Reanimate would be great here. Ooh, Wasteland also, I mean, at least it puts them pretty far away from uh, from casting the uh, the arrow, but like, ugh, a 1-1? One, one? I mean, well, they would have gotten it there. They have Mystic Sanctuary, but that doesn't work either, so I'm not sure what they're doing here. They have the Endurance, they can't cast it. Okay, I could be cycling the Troll now in case I hit one of my 4-drops here. I think I will do that. I don't think, like... I can't Dark Ritual it out anyways. Like, I would need another land or two Dark Rituals. So I'm gonna just 
Uh, I almost got the sewers there. I'm going to get the snow covered swamp. I almost got the sewers there. I thought I was fetching. There is a stifle. Okay. I mean, if only this was a 2 2 or something, you know? Oh no, and they just found the. Oh, yeah. I think we lose now. I think I need to to find Shouldred, like right now. Yeah, Uro, bane of my existence. Well, we do find Shouldred. Um, so let's uh, try and resolve her. But I, I do worry now that the cards they're gonna draw are gonna find them like additional plows or even leyline bindings. Like one more turn and leyline binding is. Um, I can stifle it, but right now shields are down. They're sitting on endurance plus two cards that I don't know about. I'm about to draw two more off of Uro and their draw step. Or I guess, no. So obviously not going to uh, trade my, my shoulder here. They just pass. Okay, cool. Daze. Daze is... Yeah, Daze is not... Not great. Um, but let's just swing here. I guess <clears throat> I might as well hold back the army because they can just eat it with the endurance. So there's no real point. They're paying costs here. There's endurance. They nuke my graveyard. And... I don't know if the heads-up play there is to stifle that endurance trigger, but I kind of don't think so. But right now, like, if I were to draw a reanimate and get my troll back, it's a heavy life hit, uh, but might just be worth it. So now they attack, they gain one life, sort of, after the shoulder attacks. And we're at the mercy of, like, source of plowshares here. If, if they find that, then... I think the game ends. I find solitude. Okay. Well, we can um, we can stifle the trigger. But then, if they have um, if they have force, if they have force but no blue card, we can then daze the force. How about that for a blowout? Okay. Here's the stifle. Okay, they're brainstorming, taking six. But if they find the force, it's uh, no bueno because now they're not like uh, they're not not they're not hard casting it. But okay, it looks like uh, stifle resolved. Did they did they find a leyline binding? Wow, they concede! I did not expect that. I guess they were they were they knew what they were drawing. Their brainstorm lock, and I have five attackers come. Uh, like, wow, yes, good, good, good. Thought thought that was uh, a done deal. All right, so we want uh, unlicensed hearse, and we want the Dothies. What else would be of interest here? We could bring in engineered explosives to like kill, like uh, what do you call it? Something like um, like uh, carpet of flowers. That would be kind of annoying. Um, do we want removal? Like, probably not. I'm not sure what other creatures they might have. They, I forgot to look at the triumph. Didn't, don't know if they showed us black mana. Mm. All right. Let's say we want these five cards. Um, and maybe not the engineered explosives. Honestly, I think I'll just try and play through carpet or counter it. So, they didn't see the One Ring, um, which, again, I think is not that great versus their Leyline Bindings, but we do have Stifles, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but we do need to cut some stuff here. I might want to cut, like, a Troll and a Murktide, because they are, like, uh, heavy on the graveyard stuff. They're, they're not heavy on, but the cards are like uh, we're we're trying to board in some stuff that isn't that graveyard dependent. Um, 
We have 21 blue cards. Can we go down to 19? I kind of feel like cutting some dazes on the draw. I'll probably try this. I, I feel, kind of feel like I'm, I'm, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> if I'm being honest, sideboarding this matchup versus, uh, or this deck versus the, uh, this matchup. But, but yeah, let's, let's try it. Not really sure. There might be some glaring. I don't know if I, it's, if it's like a criminal offense to board out a Murktide, to like board out a, um, a threat here, but we are bringing in other threats. So. I mean, this is turn to the one ring with force backup. I kind of dig that. It's also could also be turned to unlicensed hearse, but I think we can wait. I think like this is for Uro, and I don't think there'll there will be an Uro in the that is ready to escape by turn three. Oh masters, wow, we just overloaded on on hot one drops here. And I'm gonna sculling tar and get um the uh the thing. I could I could dark ritual uh bow masters here, but I have bigger plans. But yeah, I'm gonna get the under city sewers is my plan. Oh no no no! I click through I click through. Ah! Uh, oh, I hate it. Hate it when I do that. All right, well. Let's uh, let's dark ritual out this baby. If they have a force plus veil, that's really bad. Um, so let's hope they don't have that. So they have the force, pitching force. Okay, I'm gonna force back, and if they have the veil, they are up two cards because we also use the dark ritual. Looks like they didn't though. All right, awesome. Let's draw a card. Drew Force, no blue card though. They have a wasteland. Okay, not too worried about that because we'll, we're about to draw two cards here. But they have leyland binding. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Okay. So the one ring gets taken away. All that. Okay. Land. Yes. Okay. Um. Well, not that kind of land. What do I do here? I actually think I waste the wasteland and then have bowmasters at the ready. Yeah, I, I could also play the hearse right now. I've never played with hearse, and I shudder to, to admit that I actually am a little bit unsure about how crew works. When it says crew two, I think it means that um, I need something with base two power. Oh no, the ultimate punish here. Okay, I mean, now we need to draw a, we need to draw a land basically. If we draw a land, we can cast the hearse and kill the loam in the wasteland. And if we don't, then I think it's adios. And they have uh, solitude. Okay, they're down to one card. Um, it's a low resource right now, but but we we really do need to draw land. There is also like there's a chance they don't have uh, another land drop. And if that if we don't draw land right now, I need to waste the savanna. I did not see loam coming. Yeah, what a punt! I had the hearse. Well, I don't know if it's a punt. Oh. But, uh, yeah, here we go. I need to really get lucky now. They're pausing in their draw step. I don't know if that means they have, they drew like a Triumph of St. Catherine or something. How about a land? I'll, I'll accept blue card, but I really would like a land. They're also just pausing on my upkeep for ages. Maybe they have surgical. Okay, we didn't find the land, found the blue card. So I'm sure we can fade them drawing lands for 16 turns, right? I think I forced this easily. No! Oh God, well, we are like a 16 land deck. Okay, now we just need one land. So I, I, I don't hate the dark ritual. 
But um, I we, it might just be one turn too late. No, yeah. Okay, actually, no, we still have the one turn now because they need to then dredge loam. Come on, land, 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 land. <sighs> Sigh. Okay, well, I'm going to keep playing. We do have basic lands. Okay, and now they dredge loam. And they start doing loam stuff. How about I just never draw land? Opponent dredges loam, finds Uro, casts loam. Okay. I still think there's a chance that land plus um, hearse here might be good enough. Probably not, though. Okay, we found a land. I'm going to get uh, a swamp here. And... I'm going to Dark Ritual, and then I'm going to reanimate their Uro to draw a card here with my extra mana, basically cycle a reanimate, before I then hearse another Bowmasters. So many black cards. Um, okay, and let's hope they don't have um, a force for this. Didn't, okay. Exile up to two cards. Okay, I'm going to exile. I'm going to use this and exile the Uro and the Loam. Somehow still playing the game here. Ponder. Yeah, that's a good card. I think my best draw right now is basically just a way to get to Basic Island. And unlock my Bowmasters here. They shuffle. I love that. I'm on the little Arc Orc Army dude. Oof, the uh, Mystic Sanctuary uh, ETB tapped on turn five. You love to see it. So what? Oh, wait, fuck, they had a Solitude. They have a Solitude. How about that? I have. I still have mana. Um, that's very exciting. I, I missed it before when I just cycled the reanimate on the, the arrow. Wow, that's actually really freaking exciting. Maybe they, um, I don't know. I was going to say, like, yeah, I'm not going to target anything. Uh, maybe they have Endurance, and I shouldn't be attacking with the 1-1, but I guess they would, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm supposed to, to do that, uh, to play around that. And I don't know that I'm supposed to, I think I'm supposed to just wait with the hearse and then do a DOT. Also, like, if they go land Uro, I, I don't know. They could potentially escape him. But I don't think they, that's the correct um, number of lands. Okay, what's this? They're tapping a whole heap of mana. A Terminus. Okay, begrudgingly. I think I will um, I'll eat the Terminus and the uh, Lorne revealed here. Or maybe the force of will, just trying to get get away from things that are uh, exciting to uh, get into play with with the thing. Okay, well we're we're bagging the shit. We um, desperately need to draw land here, and now they can fourth Irulingas me next turn. I'll accept the force of will. Triumph, huh? And me without a blue mana, they're paying the miracle cost. I'm going to force of will here, because I, I, I think this ends the game. I'm going to get rid of Stifle. Oh, no. They have hardcast force. Okay, yeah, I'm going to concede. No need to, to keep playing. Yeah, that felt like a little bit of a, a, a deck, deck failing to operate. We're like down to 35 cards and we've seen four lands. Um, all right. Whatever. Uh, we are 15 lands. 15 lands. Why did I think it was 16? Maybe that is one land too, too few. 
And maybe that also means I can't afford to be cutting a thrall, or a troll, rather. Um, I think I will... I might just cut one of the Dothies. We didn't really see any egregious uh, graveyard hate. And a dark ritual. How about that? I mean, the hearse was good, though. Uh, I can see why people like that card. All right, let's go. Uh, no land, huh? Yeah, Mulligan. This has land and double days. I'm gonna put grief away, I think. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fetch basics here and ponder. There, are, I don't know if what the loam like um, indicates if it's like a just a. One or two wastelands, or if it's the full four. All right, that was a very good draw. Uh, let's let's get we we can fetch underground sea next turn, and then uh, ring through double with double days back up. Really love them to commit the mana here. Okay, they have the carpet. That's uh, it's good for them. So I'm got actually going to get the basic swamp here. Makes their carpet worse. It means we only have one daze here, but they would need to then double force to stop the ring. And we can then ring, um, like, replay the island next turn and, and have daze for, for ley line. Okay, looks like ring is just in. Straw. Wasteland. Okay. Wasteland not looking so good in the face of carpet of flowers, but. It is what it is. So they, by my calculations, they can't. Um, they if they play tundra here, they would need to scrubland basically or plateau to leyline bind. I guess not with the with the carpet. Oh yeah, never mind. The carpet doesn't work because of the ring. I always forget that. It's so cool. All right, let's draw some more cards. That is very good. Okay, so we can wasteland them. Then we can dark ritual, play Dothy, and then play Bowmasters. I'm going to wasteland the Trop now. Because if they're floating green, I want to then pass the just like pass priority. They didn't. All right, let's uh, cast this dude, and let's cast this dude. Solitude. Okay. Kill the bowmasters. Yep, bowmasters is gone. Leaves back an army. Now they get to make a mana. Maybe there was a world where I dazed the, the Solitude just to not give them the mana this turn. Dress down. This is it's just a cycle, I would assume. So yeah, let's... Uh, I mean, any daze target is, is potentially interesting here, but I think they're they're kind of struggling. They find Tundra. I take two. And I immediately draw... Th three because it's kind of what you want to do with the ring huh uh that finds us force of will i'm gonna okay never mind they can see yeah just falling insurmountably behind on resources awesome off to a win -a ding ding okay on the play for round number two yeah i, I guess i'll keep this I think I will fetch basic island here and p ponder. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just. I just fit, but, uh, play polluted delta and keep open force. And then fetch sewers end of turn and be ready to. Uh, be ready to bowmasters, or even if we're lucky and the sewers finds a, a fatty. 
like a, a troll or shoulder it, we can um, we can put it into the graveyard and have reanimate reanimate at the ready. Meanwhile, opponent mulligans the six. Scrubland, huh? This is a scam strategy. Uh, I'm gonna force here. <clears throat> if they have ephemerate, that's pretty terrifying. And also, I can reanimate the grief. If they have reanimate, then they were gonna get paid off no matter what. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, they had it. Whatever. I guess they can't really. Well, they can take the bowmasters, but then I reanimate it, and then they can take a reanimate. So. They take the bowmasters. All right, how about showing me Shouldred on top of the deck? No, Dark Ritual. I'll put that in the graveyard though. Other bowmasters. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna reanimate my bowmasters here though before they like get to untap and cast a reanimate on it. But I don't hate drawing the second bowmasters. Have wasteland, yikes. Okay, so they attack here. If they don't use the wasteland, I'm gonna th probably have to assume they have bowmasters of their own. But I mean, from their point of view, even a bowmasters of their own isn't that great because they know I have the reanimate. Okay, but we are losing the race right now. And, um,. Them wastelanding me was was a bit of a bummer. I think they made the correct choice in wastelanding the uh, the underground sea because if I did have a daze, then um, like falling behind on the mana is going to be an issue. Okay, let's see. Can we draw a land right now? That seems to be a recurring thing here. Not a land, but uh, but this will probably do. Okay, I'm I'm gonna cast the Dark Ritual and Bowmasters now because it gives us a chance. It gives us the extra damage off the, the army, but it gives us a chance to um, for them, if they have Bowmasters of their, their own, to use it to, to make like make a mistake and use it before combat, and then I get to reanimate. But obviously they, this is all heads up. They know what, what we have. They don't know we have the days, though. All right. Masters is in. Ping a ding ding. And now we're winning the race. Oh, they have a plow for the army. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. We can't reanimate the army, and they aren't likely to draw more cards. So they're. Now that we just have two 1 1s, kind of. And now they're back to winning the race. I mean, we can trade off. Maybe we're actually supposed to do that. Still Forge Mystic. I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'm I'm not gonna attack now. Oh another days. What's here? The one ring. Yeah, that needs to go into the graveyard, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna not attack here and give them the, the chance to to I'm gonna offer them the trade here. Oh, now my daze is not so good. And if they have like a removal spell for one of these, it's a big blowout. And maybe I'm supposed to see that coming. But uh, this is this is the play I'm making. Ugh, gross. Okay. Well, I mean, now I if they don't if they please could not have a reanimate, I'd be very happy because at least then I can reanimate my bowmasters. No. Oh, will you get out of here? <sighs> Their last card was reanimate. Okay. Not sure I have any more plays to make here. Yeah, all right. Bummer. So I think um, I'm going to bring in some Dothies. Maybe actually also the Harvesters are really good here. Yeah, I think they are. And maybe like the Fatal Push. And the Hearse, I don't know. 
They're also a, 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 like a stone blade deck. So where does that leave us? Yeah, the thing is, there's not really a lot that I want to board out, if I'm being honest here. Maybe like the Murktide doesn't line up super well with the plows, but then again, I don't know. I'll cut a stifle. I guess I guess I will shave a ring and a dark ritual. Like the logic for me being that they are a bowmaster's deck and I'm kind of not sure what else to cut. <laughs> Alrighty, let's uh, let's get this show on the road. Yeah, okay, it's my first official scam hand. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. So I'll have a grief in play, and then be able to untap into keep open stifle and have a wasteland, and then hope that's good enough. Opponent Mulligan's six. Love, love, love to see it. All right, they found six they liked. Let's uh, pitch cast the grief, pitching the Dothy Void Walker. And remember to put Evoke on the bottom here. Okay, so they have Wasteland. What's the take here? We can take Solitude. And, um, and then take Bowmasters. Yeah, I think I kind of like that. Although, I mean, they are a reanimate deck, so we could also reanimate their solitude, but that's probably too cute. Um, let's get the grief. For the record, I, fa I still think this is just dumb, these, uh, these play patterns here. Um, yeah, let's take the Bowmasters. Then they, they thought seize my, uh, they thought seize my, my stifle and, or I guess could be they, they just want to, get them with the wasteland here. Yeah, looks like it. That's that's fair. My stifle not doing a whole lot though. I find a polluted delta. Here comes the Thoughtseize. Yep. Only one thing to take. All right, I think I'm actually going to not play around Wasteland and get a Surveil going here with the uh, Undercity Sewers. Okay, I'll, I'll leave the ring on top. It's a little bit of a long shot, but... Let's uh let's try it. We're a dark ritual away from glory. I wish I had a stifle. If they get Stoneforge here, that's very scary. Okay, so they just they take my my ring here. That's fine. Oh wait, I forgot about that. They have the ephemerate. Now, not so fine, but still probably fine ish. So they get two grief triggers here, but can only take one thing. But then they get another grief trigger next upkeep, like on their next upkeep. So if I draw something that I can't cast, then it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> like a harvester of misery. Oh, actually, no. That's actually completely sick. Because now their ephemerate is going to fizzle. They're in top deck mode. But like they are just a uh, a reanimate away from busting this thing wide open. Like Stoneforge Mystic is also a really good draw for them. Uh, looks like they whiffed. All right. Oh, uh, that that's not good. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play this out in case what I draw another land and then harvest like the second harvester. Probably not. I guess Hardcast Force of Will. Find the land. Do they have something for three that they could do it too? Doesn't look like it. Maybe this is Bowmasters? Oh, no. Found a land, put it in the graveyard. Okay. Bowmasters is, is probably... Oh, wait, it is good enough. Yeah. I forget grief deals 
three. All right, one on one. Let's -a go. Do I change anything here? Those wastelands are looking mighty, mighty tame, but I'm also concerned about boarding out wasteland. Um, I think I'll board out a stifle and a daze and bring in what? Is Plague Engineer good enough? I actually kind of like the second or the fourth Dark Ritual, by the way. Um, maybe one Merc Tide. Yeah, this will also be a recurring theme here. I really don't feel like I, I have a good grasp on on how to sideboard with this strategy, but hopefully that will sort of show itself. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand, but I don't love it. I don't love just like unmasking them here um, with no reanimate and losing my my bowmasters. They kept seven as well. Okay, they are doing this game. Pitching the troll. Let's see if they have the reanimate. Okay, they take bowmasters. They're so. Oh, okay, they just cycle the troll. I guess that means no reanimate. They get a scrub land. That was an interesting turn. Um, I think I probably cast ponder here off of basic island. Wasteland, Wasteland, Days. You know what? I think I am actually going to take take these. I'm going to grab the Days right now. Because they showed me the Scrubland. So I could Daze like Stoneforge Mystic here and then waste the Scrubland. It seems kind of appealing. Right, I'm going to Wasteland. They probably have Bowmasters. Yeah. I think I'll brainstorm in response. I know there's a wasteland there, but um, I get the force. That's that's pretty good. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to daze here, um, and then I'm going to probably or do I daze? I could also just pitch. Pitch the grief, uh, pitch cast grief, and then next turn I can just cast Murktide. I think I kind of like that actually. So let's put away a uh, snow covered swamp and I guess Murktide just to hide it. And then they can have their Bowmasters. And then next turn I will have. Uh, it's only going to be a 5-5, five, five, but that's still like quite a bit bigger than what they've got going on. Okay, so they have Sword of Fire and Ice. They have a Dothy and then like some expensive artifacts. Yeah, let's take the Dothy, I guess. I do wish my Murktide was like at least a 6-6, six, six, but uh, it is what it is. They're just passing. Okay, let's... Uh, Get the show on the road here. I wonder if I'm supposed to leave behind a creature here. Um, let's get brainstorm and ponder. I don't think it really matters. They have a stock graveyard too. Um, I'll just leave my creatures in here. So it's a four turn clock now. How nasty is this going to go? Oh. They're good. choosing the surveil. They keep it on top. That's interesting. I have the wasteland though, so hopefully that will like mess up their plans. Ooh, Shildred. I still think um, I'm gonna be wasting here. But like a dark ritual now lets me get Shildred. Here come the swings. I drop to 13. And they have to pass here. Yeah, I think, I think that was pretty good. And I'll attack here. Did I? I don't think I sewered this turn right now. 
I think this is the turn where they need to draw draw out of this. Well, they do draw a white source. They ha their hand is Sword of Fire and Ice, Culture Complete, and two unknown cards. I feel pretty good having the Force of Will here, but well, let's see. And if this Surveil land can uh, find us a, a fourth mana source, we have Shouldered too. It's a pretty big if in this uh, mana greedy list, but we do get there. Hamana Hamana. Okay, and now the choice is between Wasteland and uh, Shouldered. Oh, what's this? They plow. No, I think I force this. I was thinking about letting it resolve and then just like I have Shouldered. I really think it is a little bit of a tight call here between wasting the Scrubland and um, and casting Shouldered, but I, th I will cast Shouldered. That will leave them with two things they have to answer. Um, or they're dead um, on their next turn. Not this one coming up, but the next one. So if their other card in hand is like a plow as well, and now they draw what? I don't know, like a fatal push? But even then... Yeah, okay. Sweet! Got there! 2-0. Oh. That's uh, looking good. Let's go to round number 3. Okay, on the draw for round number 3, and I'm going to have to mulligan this no lander. Yeah, we'll keep this. Uh, probably bottom a land. Or the, although those things are in short, com like it's a short commodity, so maybe that's incorrect. Okay, you grief me. Do you uh, are you able to take both my reanimates here? Well, that certainly seems to be what they're going for. Maybe they have days. Is that the thing? Um, I'm gonna trade this reanimate for a days. Or whatever it is they have. Yeah, like this is a one for one card trade, but they're ba they're set back a mana. So, all right, they cycled the troll with their floating mana, and here we go. So they obviously did not have uh, reanimate last turn, like on their first. I'd kind of like them to not wasteland me here. That would be great. <laughs> okay. Murktai Regent is not nothing. Let's uh, let's pass here and hope they're not also a stifle build. So do I surveil here or do I get basic island? Oh, they were cat. They're paying costs. What's this? They're casting brainstorm in the main phase. Okay. Be my guess. I think I take the survey land here. I have the brainstorm for next turn if I don't find a land. There's also the get rich or die trying uh, hard play of like casting brainstorm here, hoping to find another land and then untap Merktide. But then we're just super screwed if we get brainstorm locked. Yeah, I'm too worried about that. Brief. I'm actually going to leave that on top, and then I'm going to cast Brainstorm and see where we go from there on my turn. Or I guess maybe I, maybe I want to grief them first. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to like Brainstorm and then cast Grief and get dazed. Oh, another Wasteland. Gross. Okay, I'm going to take the Ponder. Oops. And I'm going to cast Brainstorm here. I find a force, but I get brainstorm locked. And now they have uh, uh, the wasteland. Yeah, that was bad. Let's put back Merktide and Bowmasters. And, and pass. And maybe one of us can do something in a little bit. I'll pass. I am halfway through my brainstorm lock. Oh, I just put pass through that this tomb. I don't think it probably matters that much because like 
on the half stifle. That's really interesting. Wait, what? What did they put a stifle in their graveyard? What the hell? They cast in tomb. And now there's a stifle underneath. What is up with that? And they they I'm oh, I'm so confused right now. Okay, they have force plus random card. Um I'm drawing my last brainstorm lock card. And good thing is that this hand gets completely unlocked with one mana. No, just kidding. Reanimate on troll. I'm gonna have to uh force and hope their last card isn't blue. Which it is, of course. Okay. So let's just do the math here. Let's say I draw running lands. So I draw land, I drop to 12. I draw another land, I drop to 6, and then I'm dead. So, uh, and I even click through my, my, my thing here. This is the wrong kind of land, too. So jealous that they get to sit there and cast Ponder, and they don't shuffle. So we got out scammed here, and again, like I really think I'm at least one land short. I was like, the, the list I saw that we're playing 16 lands also had uh, th like four trolls. I'm playing two trolls, and somehow I thought I had 16 lands, but I think when I um, when I was building it, I must have like yeah gotten that wrong at some point but that is something for another day I'm gonna bring in these four cards here the three Dothies and the the unlicensed hearse I'll probably bring in um, like a harvester maybe maybe there's more that I want here and I'm definitely gonna cut the stifles I don't really like them in the tempo matchups or the tempo mirrors um, shoulder really solid. Uh, what else? What do we cut here? Do we cut force of will? That seems a little bit aggressive. Maybe I'll cut one. Yeah, maybe I'll just try and make do without the harvester. Yeah, let's try this. Okie doke. Again, a no lander. Okay, let's keep this bottom. Oh. I feel like I actually want to bottom the Force of Will here. Let's um, let's go casting a Ponder here. I think I will draw the Island and then the Hearse. It's a little bit of a overload on th stuff that cares about the graveyard but that is kind of what they're what they're also all about they have shown a stifle question is if we want to play around it and then risk drawing another land here i think i actually don't mind the other land Let's play the hearse. Again, this plays into days, but and they have seven cards. So I feel like they probably have an answer. So them letting this resolve probably means they feel com confident that they can like navigate this game without going through the graveyard. There's a troll. Okay. So I'm I'm not gonna like aggressively use the hearse. I'm gonna use it bot. I think. There's a Dothy. I think I'm just going to let this resolve. And then I'm going to reanimate their troll. Is it from a single graveyard? Yeah, okay. So I am just going to steal their polluted delta here. And this should be a big red flag for them. Um, let's take the troll. I have a troll. Cool, cool, cool. Let's hope they don't have Brazen B. Another Dothy. Okay, so I drop to 11, they drop to 13. I drop, and then, then I'm 
I'm losing the race. Yeah. So I do need to find some other type of action here or removal spell, which, of which I only really have one. Um, I'm not. Now nah, maybe I am supposed to eat the the ponder there. Okay. I mean, I don't hate just dark ritualing out this grief. I'm not going to play it off of a land to play into, like right into a daze. So they will have to force of will this if they, if they want it to not resolve. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't want to exile. I want to just cast this normal style. They are forcing. Oh, they're dismembering. Let's see here. Show me Atraxa. Dothy Voidwalker. Okay, so I mean, if I, I think I have to take the Dothy and reanimate it, to be honest, because then I can trade with one of their Dothies. Does that make sense? I'll be at eight, and then I'll, I think I'm still losing the race then, right? Gross. Um, hmm. How do I not lose here? <clears throat> because I think if I just reanimate the troll, I take six, I'm at five. Then I'm just dead. They have six unblockable attacks, attackers coming. Um, if I take eight from the doth, uh, like animating the dothy, then trade with one of their dothies, then I'm, I'm at five. I'm still losing, but then, like, I can stabilize, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to take the Dothy. And I'm going to reanimate the Dothy. And then I think I probably take the hearse, right? Um, like, the, these two cards right now. Just in case they find a stifle. This could have been uh, one card bigger, the hearse. Oh, what am I even thinking? If I trade with their Dothy like right now, they both go into the graveyard and then they have animation spells. <clears throat> I think I have to just, yeah, I guess. I guess that was not correct. So what saves me here? I think I have to trade, but then I'm at six and then like, yeah, I think I'm sort of between a rock and a hard place here, honestly. Yeah, they dothied harder than me. Oh, I guess that's not how that works. Well, magic rules and all that. I thought they would be going into I put in this graveyard here. Because when they died, I no longer controlled a dothy, but I guess that's not how it works. Okay, interesting. Okay, so they're pitching grief. Uh, what they, they're pitching animate dead to grief. Um, just to just to animate it, just to reanimate it. Yeah. That makes sense. What could I even hope to get here? Oh, I should have s s surveilled once again. If I draw like the one ring. Um, that buys me a turn, I guess. That's not the one ring. What is a brainstorm? I could hit, like, uh... I think, uh, Bowmaster lets me play another turn, because it trades with the Grief. A Dothy trades with the Dothy, I guess. We find the Bowmasters, um... And I don't suppose I would completely hate drawing a ponder here. Um, I think I attack. 
and obviously they're not gonna if they know it's smart they're just gonna attack here and not if they even if they drew like a spell they're not gonna like like obviously the hope would be if they had if they found like a ponder or even a brainstorm that they would cast it first here but not expecting that all right so i guess we can ping uh the grief we could also ping the, the Dothi and then hope somehow they draw another card before Bowmaster dies, but this way I can block, and if they were to have like a removal spell, which I guess they could have just used prematurely uh, before it blocks, but then um, the Grief still dies. So the Hearse is up to five cards here. Um, the Crew thing is... I believe I need a creature with t power two or greater, and then, then that taps, and then the the hearse becomes alive. So if I were able to find what, I guess a Dothy, that would do it. And I know there's a ponder here, so I'm gonna draw that, and I'm gonna fetch, going down to two, because two versus three doesn't really matter. You see how many Dothies are in there. Three Dothies, okay. I could even have um, gotten the Survey Land, but then I lose two days. Oh, heartbreak. Yeah, I have to shuffle these. Another Ponder, okay. It's a redraw. Dothy? That's not a Dothy. Gross. Fuck. Yeah. That's a close one. I'm just gonna cr try this. Tap any number of untapped creatures you control. I guess even a Bowmasters would have gotten there. Womp womp. So put opponent to three and concede. GG's. All right. Two and one. Let's, uh, let's see if we can finish strong here. Right on, on the draw this time, but with a fully operational scam hand here, a single discard spell doesn't uh, turn this off. So this is pretty exciting. I'm gonna keep, and if we can just draw a blue card for our force, then uh, we're like, uh, we're in the money. I can even like grief twice and then reanimate grief, that's, I mean, it'll leave me with a single card in hand, which will be force. I guess force plus whatever I draw. But that would strip three cards from our, our opponent. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if that if you're supposed to go that aggressively. But anyways, let's see here. Unheisen, unheisenced. That was, that was fun. Unlicensed first. That's uh, kind of good against what we're doing here. Uh, man, that's a bummer. <laughs> um, hmm. So the dark ritual lets me cast uh, bowmasters, I guess. I I could also I think I'm supposed to start with a a grief here. I'm gonna pitch a reanimate. And let's see. Okay, so they have two uh, two haymakers here, the broadside bombardiers, and the um, the rabble master. They also have two red mana sources, so this kind of sucks. Um, so I could take the spirit guide here, and then I could take the. The bombardiers, and then hope to like get, like kill a rabble master with uh, with with orcs. I think um, I do kind of like taking the spirit guide here. Wish I'd drawn a blue card for my force. Oh gosh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's more correct to. 
pitch the Bowmasters and then be able to like hard cast a grief. But grief doesn't race the uh the the, the rabble master. I think I have to pitch cast grief here, pitching out of the reanimate. And then take their bombardiers. I could also take their shatter spell shatter skull smashing. Uh leave them without any red. But I think they will draw a red source eventually. Well, maybe. Actually, you know what? I do kind of like that. I think I've made. I've changed my mind. Um, let's take this and hope to hope to be able to get them. All right. Um. Yeah, I think I just pass here, and I mean, maybe I'm supposed to dark ritual the bowmasters out in my opponent's EOT. Yeah, and they take my, they grow the hearse. It makes sense. It's like one extra turn off the clock, or whatever. Like, I, I can get my beats in here versus getting the surveil land. Um, I think... I think I will get the surveil land, to be honest. The one ring. Yeah. I mean... It's so close, but I'm going to put this into the graveyard. Um, that was not very good. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to play uh the Bowmasters here and I'm going I I am going to cast my reanimate probably targeting their spirit guide. It'll make them it'll you know, use my mana, but it'll also it'll make them um, have to target themselves for a turn with the with the hearse. Not sure it'll end up mattering, but I think it's the correct play. I mean, this is obviously a card in my hand I lose, so if I draw Brainstorm, that would have been better, but the reanimate is kind of dead uh, in the face of this hearse, so... Okay, and now I would just like if I could draw blue card, that would be amazing because it um it means I can force whatever they cast first, and hopefully that cast involves them playing a land, and so they they lose their spirit uh, city of traders. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I even get a turn. I think if they if they get to resolve a rabble master here, it's over. Okay, but that didn't happen. <clears throat> Okay, I, I, I found my blue card, so that's something now. Like, I would love to find a wasteland. Because uh, 10 turns, that's a long time. But yeah, let's imagine they find... Like, Shatter Skull Smashing, and then I force. That would probably be ideal. If they end up, like... Um, if they end up having Chrome Mox... Then I think I have to force the Chrome Mox. Okay, they're paying mana. If this is ch okay, there there it is. There's a land. They lose their land. It's a wasteable land, so I'm I'm gonna force, and then hope and pray. Oops, that was the Rebel Master. So they have a Bombardiers, plus two unknowns. That presum presumably aren't lands. Wasteland. Okay. Underground Sea. I'll take it. Pass the turn. They use their hearse, I am assuming. Yep. So the hearse is going to be like an 8 8 now. If they uh, find a soul land. Then they did. Okay. I'm just going to concede. I don't see any way back from here. Okay. That's a bummer. Um. Oh, I drew. I would have drawn a brazen borrower. Oh well. All right. So let's bring in a force of negation and a brazen B and is Dothy Voidwalker worth a punt here. And engineered explosives can mop up a chalice, but and goblin tokens, but maybe not so much else. Um, 
They aren't really using their graveyard, so the Dothy is not amazing. Uh, the Long Goodbye seems like an, an okay card. And I don't think the Stifles do much here, so I'm going to board them out. The Bowmasters aren't really amazing either, but they, they're they not nothing. They can, like, uh, kill a Rabble Master on, if it attacks kind of thing. All right, let's choose to be on the play here for game two, and, uh... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll keep this, and I'll hope to, like, just cast a Grief next turn. There's a Leyline of the Void. All right, that's good. Chrome Mox, sure. If they... Chalice for one here, I think I have to force. Unlicensed Hearse. Yeah, I think that's also fine. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try not go through the graveyard at all. Um, I'm gonna s get the Surveil Land. I'm sorry, you can hear my puppy. Oh, I, f I clicked on the wrong land. Damn. Yeah, my puppy is going nuts because uh, we have people working uh, on the house. All right, let's um, get rid of this reanimate uh, and and the grief. I guess we'll draw that that second grief. All right, let's uh, dark ritual out this one of these griefs and um, hope things go well. I think maybe I was supposed to get basic swamp there because I have the long goodbye. Um, and, yeah, that, I thought that, that was a mistake. If In case they have Magus of the Moon at a later date, I, I wouldn't have to force it. There is Blood Moon. Um, I mean, I think I take the Blood Moon here and just pass. I could... Grief, Grief Arena, but I think maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll save that. So I draw another Dark Ritual, that would actually be sick, because then I have two quote-unquote Flip Delvers, and I would get to take a card from their hand. There's the Smashing. I have three mana. Bombardiers. So they can throw this ley line. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna force this. I'll leave them with a chrome box. Um does leave me kinda naked to whatever else they, they end up drawing here, but I, I don't think I want them to they they would just they could deal me eight damage or kill the grief, and I don't think I'm interested in either. Uh second force is or third force I guess is not ideal. All right, let's just go. Oh no, they found something. Fable, huh? Yeah, Fable's good. I don't know that I'm supposed to kill the Shaman here. Because um, I don't know that mana is going to be the choke point. I don't think it is. All right, let's attack. And picking up that blue card for force is kind of nice. I don't know, maybe I was supposed to kill that shaman. Because, like, eventually if they have two creatures, they can they can double block uh, the team up on the grief. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. They've got two fresh cards. Here comes Rabble Master. Um, I think I just long goodbye Rabble Daddy. And so they have one card. Come on, Dark Ritual, Orgish Bowmasters, Dothy Void Walker. Did I bring those in? I, I already forgot. Ooh, we found a Bowman. Bowman. No, Void Walkers in the, in the sideboard. Okay. Bowmasters was good. Hopefully that can help close out the game.
Hearse is going to be really big, but not lethal. So let's see if, if they're interested in crewing the hearse or what. Okay, something's happening. Another fable. Do I care? I think I probably care. Yeah, let's force that. Okay, they crew it. They attack. I do believe I'm going to try and kill the rap the goblin uh, shaman token. Or maybe not. Is this close to lethal? I take them to seven. And then I attack for five. No. Still a little bit away of a ways away. So I'm going to kill this. Uh... Is it? Would it possibly be correct to? Like keep the army and block the, block the the bowmaster uh with the bowmasters instead, just in case I draw second bowmasters. Wasteland, not exactly amazing here with their with their tokens. Okay, so I attack. Um. Do I keep the grief around? Then my hand, like, do I keep the wasteland, I guess, is what I'm asking. They have one, two, three, four mana, five mana. I'm not going to wasteland. I don't think that makes sense. any sense to take them from five to four mana. All right. Looks like they're not doing anything here. I'd like to draw land, please. That's not a land. It's a brainstorm, though. We like those. Um, so Fury doesn't have Flash, right? What could they do here? I guess I could just Grief. Um, let's see what's up. I think I like doing that. Great. They have nothing. Um... So I'll take the Chromox. And I guess I will Wasteland them in case they draw a Fury. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think Wasting here is, is how the cookie crumbles. And so I'm going to attack with just the Grief. They can't block. And um, they need to top deck something or lose. Hearse is now a 6-6, six, six. yeah. So they can attack for 6. Alright, let's see. What do they... Did they draw anything good? No. Alright, cool. Okay, they're fully, fully ley lined up. Um, I think I'm going to just take some Doth easy here. Maybe 3 is 1 too many, I'm not sure. Um... Do I cut any of this reanimator stuff? Maybe like one grief, one reanimate. Maybe two griefs can get cut. I don't know. Maybe that's dumb. I, I don't know. It's hard to sideboard with this deck. All right. Um, this hand is very vulnerable to basically anything. I'm going to mulligan. I'll keep this. I'll bottom the bloodstain mire ley line show me more ley lines wow they're just passing really or is that a misclick yeah okay it was a misclick um i think i will i think i will wasteland Sometimes that red source is the one that's hard to get. Fable, huh? Um, I'm going to force that. It looks like they are passing too. Okay, I'm going to surveil land here and ideally find like a wasteland. But only two of those remain. I'm going to put troll straight into the graveyard. Another days, hardly the most exciting thing you've ever seen. 
Um, let's put back uh, a land and a daze. And let's fetch and ponder. Let's see if we can find like a um, Shouldred or a The One Ring. There is a The One Ring. This is perfect. All right, so I'm going to put uh, Force of Negation in my hand and and pass here and just hope and pray that there isn't a Magus of the Moon coming next turn. But even then, I have the basic swamp coming uh, underneath. Okay. Unlicensed source. Go nuts, my friend. All right. Let's just uh, Dark Ritual out this bad boy. Yep, and we'll draw the basic Swamp and play that. And kind of dig where we're at, but we're not out of the woods yet, but looking good. All right, Hearst going to work. They are passing. All right, let's do this. Oops, I drew, I drew before my draw step. Ah, it doesn't matter. Um, here comes the draw step, double reanimate. I think we can do better than those, hopefully. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's kind of a lot not to like here, but uh, that hearse kind of pulling pulling its weight here, but that's okay. I'm gonna pass and we can hard cast Fawn if we want to, but probably more likely we're gonna flash in the Bowmasters. All right, looks like they're just passing. Here comes the Bowmasters. And now we can, we have a lot of flexibility here. We can uh, replay the second ring to reset, to reset the ring if we feel like our life total is getting too low. Meanwhile, we're gonna be drawing just a bunch of cards here. Uh, yeah, this Wasteland probably seals it, I would uh, kind of think. We have double force now. Not sure if I'm supposed to... What I'm supposed to do here in terms of the ring. Probably not Not yet. We can take three, go to 11 next turn. Then draw four cards and the world will be our, our oyster. <laughs> We're also not a million miles away from like dark ritualing out this Merktide. Like a 3-3 three, three flyer for seven mana. Fury. Um... I think I'm going to force of will that or actually hang on hang on hang on. I can daze it but then they could have they could have um the thing. They could have a spirit guide which would be no bueno. And I can try and reanimate that fury but they'll just hearse it. Okay, I'm about to go to 10 and Let's draw four cards. Oh, possibilities. All right, I'm going to make my attack here. And then I'm gonna dark ritual out a void walker and the second ring. Because I, I think I don't wanna be taking any more damage and I think I am pretty far ahead. Um, don't know that we need to spew both dark rituals, but not that I think it will matter. I'm going to keep the new ring, please. So we're invulnerable. I'm going to play the Dothi. And um, then I'm going to draw one card with, uh, with my new ring. Another Dothi. Lovely. If they have a second Fury here, um, I could be in trouble. I, I'm then going to have to hope the Daze is good enough. But I do have the second Dothi, so it, it's probably fine. Oh, there's a land. They pass. Okay, I take one, go to nine. Bowmasters, I think I'm just going to play that face up here 
grow my army. So they're at 10, and they're about to take 6. Alright, I don't think I'm going to play the second Voidwalker. I guess it does kind of help us against, um, against Fury. But this way I get to keep open a uh, long goodbye. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's probably fine. There's a second red mana for them. Okay, but they concede. Sweet, we're three and one positive record guaranteed. Let's see if we can uh, make it uh, make it four one if we're lucky. All right, on the on the draw. Oh, sorry, on the play for the the last round. Let's see how we do. Um. Hmm. I think I actually keep this this hand here. And then like Dark Ritual Out Grief on turn two. Maybe that's just totally anemic, I don't know. Uh I feel like I've mulliganed quite a bit in this league, so I I just as soon not mulligan. And just like Pitching Grief when you only in quotation marks have four reanimation spells in the deck and you're not sitting on one of them. Then just like pitching grief if you don't know that you're up against like a combo deck or something. I don't know. I'm not loving that that idea. Is this Chalice? Ugh. Okay, I guess I will force that. And then I will... Uh, I'll make my Grief play on turn two. I'm going to fetch Basic Island here, because where Chalice and Ancient Tomb goes... So often goes... Uh, Blood Moon. Or at least occasionally goes Blood Moon. So Chalice zero. Don't care about that. Alright, so no fetch under City Sewers. Days, I don't hate that. Get the basic island, cast the dark writ. Hope we're not up against eight cast with force of wills, because this is kind of what I have. I guess I have a daze. Okay, so grief is in. Grief trigger is on the stack. Oh, okay, so that's why they were they were considering that. Anointed peacekeeper. So I guess I take the solitude here, and then probably. Um, I will daze the anointed peacekeeper. I just hope they they don't hit like a, a spirit guide. There's the planes. I'm still not sure this uh, is going to be good enough, but the fact that they're tapping ancient tomb every turn is kind of, um, you know, in, in our favor. Okay, so let's hope uh, like a second dark ritual would just be amazing here, but um, I'll settle for. Less than that. I guess Troll is fine too. Ugh! So this is something I really... I play so much Magic Online, I should be able to ma navigate this client some more. But I keep missing, like, fetching at the end of turn or cycling the Troll. Um, oh, damn. Okay, well, I'm gonna... They have a Wasteland too. So it's not even like... I'm getting a lot out of... Cycling the troll now. I guess I'm gonna do it anyways, flush out their wasteland and get a surveil happening. Under city sewers. Okay. Maybe I'm maybe I'm actually supposed to Yeah, I'm gonna swamp cycle this beforehand and get an underground sea. Because if I like what I see if I if I for instance find um like a Merktide on top with my uh, surveil, then it's kind of su it kind of sucks to then have to shuffle it away, which I would. Um, I guess I could have just cycled the troll on my upkeep. Yeah, never mind. Oh, I like that. Reanimate on top, and we get to get a troll. I guess they are a deck with solitude, so maybe even plows. I'm not sure because they're they're on Chalice as well. Okay, right, there's the wasteland. I can only assume I'm losing my undercity sewers here. In fact, I kind of hope I am. On the, because if not, then maybe it's because they have something insane here. 
the Archon. Yeah, that's fine. They're tapping the Wasteland to not have to tap the Ancient Tomb. Okay, so I'm going to attack. And I'm going to play Underground Sea. It comes into play tapped here, and then I'm going to cast Reanimate on my Troll of Khasad Doom. Okay, so I have two, well, one with Menace and one with, one with Super Menace. So they, they're going to need another creature to then block the Grief to stay alive. Or, I guess, a removal spell. That also does it. Ooh, tapping. Is this uh, Solitude, probably? Yeah, it is. Oof. So that probably, well, I guess maybe flips the, the matchup here. We we have another grief though. Um, okay, so that's what happens here. If I attack, they might just let it go through, because then they they assume they can win the race that way, which maybe they can, maybe they can't. They could also put both creatures in front of this, but I I'm kind of thinking they're going to let this go through. Oh, okay. So I would prefer to kill the uh, the um, solitude here. Wait, what? How's a? Why was I not allowed to? S I maybe I just missed it, but oh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I missed it. Um, I thought usually the numbers come up on the creatures, and you then get to toggle it around. I didn't feel like that happened here. I don't think any of these have first strike or whatever. Okay. Let's see what they have. Mirius Call. I don't know what that does, but it's just a land unless you have infinite mana. I'll probably keep my... No. Okay, I'll play it out. Yeah, this is... Um... We can still pull out of this if we hit one of our haymakers, like uh, Shouldred would be amazing. Palace Jailer. Okay, so Palace Jailer comes and takes my grief. Um, Orcish Bowmasters would be kind of good here. Okay, so they gain three. And then they get to draw a card. Yeah, that was kind of a bummer. Um, I needed to kill that Solitude. Or, you know, they, it would still get the Palace Jailer here, and they would probably still be ahead, but not have a Life Linker. That would be a pretty big deal. That's probably... GG. I don't know. I'm going to kill uh, one of their Ancient Tombs. Keep Try and keep them bottlenecked a little bit on mana. But now I, I take five a turn. A Stoneforge Mystic. Interesting. Didn't know that was a card. That was in Initiative decks. I guess I've not seen an Initiative creature, so... They play Lion Sash. I think they're supposed to just play it out, right? I guess they can't activate it this turn because it requires white mana. I'm not sure what gets me out of this. Pretty sure it's not. I don't know. So if I reanimate... Mm, no. If I reanimate the troll, then I'm dead. Um, they they can get four power unblocked through. Yeah, I could reanimate their solitude. And what kill their own solitude. I take five, I'm at five. And killing the the jailer doesn't get me back my grief. It becomes it gets I get it back if I become the monarch. I guess I guess the Lion Sash can just eat a bunch of creatures and get really big, so I I probably forced to to block that. And they name animate dead. Okay. This dude is just pumped. Whenever I see it like this, like with this, when the image is small, I kind of want it to be like one of the uh, cat people, like a Johnny. But it's just some dude. Kind of looks like He Man or something. Just attacking with the annoying Palace Jailer. Um, I don't know. I think I trade. 
Why was I not allowed to trade? What the fuck is going on? Okay. What am I missing here? S something weird is happening. Like, I'm not being allowed to block. Uh, maybe you're screaming at your monitor right now because it's something so obvious, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's try the brainstorm. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think we have a way back into this into this game. Let's concede. Okay, this is a matchup where we s certainly want um, the uh, Harvesters of Misery and maybe Plague Engineer. Although I'm not tr really sure how many one toughness things they have. Fatal Push, Long Goodbye, Shouldred's Edict, and maybe even Dress Down. Probably not Plague Engineer. Um, Brazen Borrower is good. I think we can... Shouldred seems a little bit... You know, not amazing. Yeah, I'm not really sure what axis to, to drop here. I think so the Stifles are decent enough versus like whatever Stoneforge Mystic and stuff, but maybe not, just not good enough. And the Bowmasters also seem decidedly medium, even though, you know, they can steal the monarchy or whatever, but I'm going to go like this. All right. Let's see if we can get a good one here. Yeah, why not? Let's keep this, start out with the sewers. See if we can... Uh, find a pathway to resolving the one ring. Opponent Mulligan's the six. They have a ley line of the void. Okay. Under city sewers. Um hmm. yeah let's put this into the graveyard. Okay, just planes go. Um yeah, let's just pass. They just pass as well. Ponder. I can dig a ponder. And I can also dig a brainstorm. Uh-oh. Cavern of Souls. One human. What's this? It's the annoying peacekeeper. Okay. I mean, so if they name the ring here, I can petty theft it and play the ring. So that's, our hand is somewhat insulated here, which is nice. It could be that I would really like to wasteland this opponent off of that cavern though. Because they name the one ring. I petty theft, Mr. Mr. Friend there. And if I could draw a dark ritual here, that would just be so swell. No dark ritual. I think I do wasteland here. And then I can daze or I can just replay or play the brazen brazen bee. Get the brazen beats on. Just not a second cavern, please. No! Oh, are you kidding me? That is le lame. Okay. So I had the chance to play the, the ring there. <sighs> That's frustrating. I'm going to play the Brazen Borrower and then take my draw step and see where that takes me. Second days, probably not what the doctor ordered. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put away the ring for now. And one of the dazes. And then I'm going to wasteland. And attack. And I mean, it's not like we can't cast the one ring. We just have to pay three more mana for it. Two more mana. Oh, it's only two. I thought it was th three for some reason. Ancient Tomb. 
Is this worth a force of will? Probably. I'm going to pitch days. I don't think, like, they have four mana now. I think that they'll be fine. I am currently winning the race, but I expect that to change if I'm not able to pull off something here. So draw the one ring plus two more cards. Another wasteland, huh? I don't say. That is my third wasteland. This just also made my days a lot better. I think I will ponder now. I think I'm I'm gonna shuffle. I just drew the one ring anyways. Take that. I think I probably cast another ponder here. Uh I mean never casting this Merc Tide, but having a second daze can't be the worst thing in the world. I can pick up the city sewers and um you know, mill through some of this stuff. Oh, fuck off! Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, I drew three wastelands, so I'm not really allowed to complain here, but, um... Okay. Could have been worse, I think. What do you name here? Days? Maybe I'm supposed to daze anyways, just to... To pick up the the ring or uh, the sewers, I'm gonna brainstorm. So I think I just lost, right? Mm, because I attack them to nine, they attack me to six. I attack them to six. I play a grief. They attack me to three. I trade grief with one of these, and then I I'm dead. Guess that's just the way the story goes. Um, yeah. Crap. Yeah, this can't block. It can only block flying creatures. Yeah, laying on the void, pulling, pulling in a shift. I'm at six. I draw the one ring or whatever it was I put back. Merc tide. Is there any way? So what happens here? I, I can cast Grief, and then I can daze my Grief, then I can daze my Daze, and then I can... Yeah, I think that is my... the one potential out I have. So I cast Grief. I daze it, picking up the uh, Undercity Sewers. And then I daze my Daze, picking up a land, whatever. And so I don't pay for the Daze targeting my Daze. I mean, they also have three mana and three cards in hand. They could have uh, a removal spell, which would then uh, render all this moot. I guess not if it's a plow or a plow effect. Okay, so they plow my guy. So I'm up to nine, not dead next turn. Interesting. What's in your hand? Lands and a cauldron complete. Or Chromox and a cauldron complete. Okay. So I'll replay this. I'll put the ring into the void, and then I'll pass. And then, like, I can draw a shouldered, I guess? Oh no, of course you drew something relevant. At least the cauldra is in the, in the graveyard. Or, yeah, in their graveyard. They have powder skull. Tough beats. So I think right now, like, another grief would be my best draw. I did draw another Grief. That was fortunate. Maybe I can just start naming the best draws I have and then draw them. That would be lovely. Let's put the Batter Skull into the yard. Let's see them rip something else. They should attack here, I feel. They don't attack. Now I have Force of Will. What does that mean? And do I attack? So if I attack, they can double block, and then I lose my grief, and they keep their stone forge. Um, I think I need to hold this grief back. On D. It's another land. Do you have a four drop that you couldn't cast before? No. Yes. Are you kidding me? So they don't draw a Caracas. Uh, I think this changes things, so I will attack. 
Maybe I was supposed to play this shield right after combat. Yeah, probably. Just let this connect. Down to four now. Here's a human creature that I can't counter. Peacekeeper, sure. <clears throat> so their hand is Chrome Mox and X. So they, they do play Plow. Anointed Peacekeeper names Merktide Regent, sure. So I drew three Wasteland and they drew three Caverns, but I didn't attack like I wasted something that wasn't a cavern. Anyways, yes, give me that sweet, sweet life. So what happens here if I attack with everything? They either double block... If they want to kill Shulred, they will need to... They will lose both of their things and my grief will connect. Then Shulred's dead. I think... I don't know, because if they draw like a, a palace jailer, I think then I'm boned either way. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna not send it here. They have this one draw step to rule them all. I have force for like solitude or or plow. I think it's palace jailer or bust here. It's ancient tomb, ancient tomb, chrome mox. Okay, Are they just accepting. The defeat here. Uh, let's play this so we can force and like hardcast force and pitch cast force. They, there's that white enchantment thing that you can channel and then it blinks something, but looks like they're just dying here. Okay, cool. Just playing it out. That's 1-1. One, one. Let's uh, go for the sideboard here. I'm not really sure if anything changes. Probably not actually. Wow, got away with that one. That's what it feels like. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep. Kind of blows if they have uh, another ley line. Looks like they don't. If I draw a black card here, I will. Hearse, huh? I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna force that. Force that. Yep. And I'll probably wasteland them here. Might be just a. Teensy tiny bit aggressive. Uh, actually, yeah, I was supposed to do things uh, the other way around because I, I I am gonna pitch uh, pitch the grief pitch grief cast here, and I should have waited with my wasteland. It was a dumb decision, but okay. They have Caracas. That's good to know. Okay, so now they have four lands, and let's hope not a lot else going on. There's basic island. Okay. I'm going to, um, depending, if, if they float the wasteland, then maybe not. But if they don't float the wasteland, I think I'm going to, like, get Undercity Sewers and then cast Murktide. It'll be a 4-4 four, four or a 5-5, five, five, depending on what happens. Okay, here's a Chalice. Yep. Okay, so there it's Caracas, Wasteland, Unknown. How about a one drop instant or sorcery here? Yeah, thank you. Into the graveyard. Uh, that was maybe dumb. I was supposed to probably fetch and then leave the grief in there. Just in case I get rid of the child somehow and, and end up with a reanimate in hand. Okay. So we need to fade removal for uh like five draw steps. Here's the wasteland. Maybe I'm bad at math. Four or five uh, draw steps. Um, but yeah, that's not a wasteland though. A uh, rather uh, a rule spell. There's Shouldred, who's kind of useless here. I'm gonna just put the delta into play tapped. Attack. Okay, so they can. Drop a four drop here. If they have Palace Jailer, Palace Jailer, that's really good. Okay, they didn't. Just killed my polluted Delta. Which I think is like maybe worse. I don't know. Maybe they're worried about my basic swamp. Okay. I'll probably cast this brainstorm here. Oh no! 
or I don't, because there's a chalice. Oh, that's that's embarrassing. Yep, yeah, forgot about the chalice. Happens to me too. Okay. Three mana. You have three mana and two cards in hand. Four mana, one card in hand. They just keep racing here. I might as well wait, I guess. <laughs> that's no that's not good. Oh, there's a pause here. Did they find anything of use? I guess we'll know if they okay, they're not attacking. Um I'm gonna attack first and then And then you know what? I almost think it's worth it to just like four mana Rashad and port their Caracas. <laughs> Silly as that may maybe but I'm not really doing anything else. I'll look at the swamp here. Have both my basics. Yep, let's tab out that uh, Caracas. I guess it's not even true what I'm saying. I'm Rashadin porting them. Rashadin, ah, Rashadin porting them in my on my turn, so they get to untap and have all their mana. If they tap their Caracas, then they know they'll have to tap it again in their upkeep. Ha ha! Wow, I got there. Sick. Okay, let's talk about this list. Um, I definitely feel like it's one land, at least one land too short. I probably want um, one extra troll and one extra land. Maybe the fourth underground sea. Um, troll. And then it's about working out what to cut um, in underground sea. And I think I probably will accept to cut um, one Stifle and one Orcish Bowmasters going down to three. Like, space is really tight here. Um, so we're at 10, 14, 15, 19, 21 blue cards. That's acceptable. And we're at uh, 8, 11, 15, 17 black cards. That's also fine. I think, like... Something here kind of works, right? It's funny to think that, that Demir is so powerful now because of this orc, the, the Lord of the Rings and Grief, uh, basically. Like, Shuldred came up a couple of times where she was relevant, and the same with the One Ring, so I'm not ready to rule them out. It's 4-1, it's kind of, I mean, it's that's not bad, right? We did get lucky on a few occasions, but hey, that's also part of the game. All right, well, I mean... I hope you enjoyed this. I might I might pursue this um, a little bit, and I'd be very interested to hear some comments and suggestions maybe on what uh, what should go where and all that stuff. And um, yeah, I guess I just want to say thanks so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. I hope you had fun, and I'll be back with some more Legacy. Bye-bye.